let me start with a question. When you turn on the iPhone, this kind of hello or konnichiwa animation appears on the screen. So how to implement with only Swift UI? That is our today's talk, talk topic, exploring Swift UI path animation featuring Japan simple quiz. And so let's begin. And a self short introduction. I'm Sugi, and it's, uh, this is my icon. It's shaped like a taiyaki, a Japanese traditional sweet. And the taiyaki is a fish shaped sweet and filled with red bean paste, custard, chocolate, and so on. And I worked at DNA, where I developed a live streaming, live streaming application using Flutter. And this is the first time to speak at Tri-Swift Tokyo, so I'm excited, but a little nervous. Next, uh, let me explain how I made this uh, text, uh, Hello Text animation. First, I prepare the shape, the path of the shape. In my case, I created a SVG image and converted it into a Swift UI path using a conversion tool. And, and, and then I created a, a custom shape that defines animatable data to manage animation. Animatable is a Swift UI, uh, animatable is a protocol of Swift UI that can smoothly animate values in Swift UI views. In this case, I set the animation protocol, uh, animation progress to animatable data. This is the source code. You can see the detailed source code later in, in this, uh, blog, uh, in this uh, slide up or blog post. Next. And just somebody. And, you, and, and next, and I, I use a, the trim the pass function uh, to show the part of the pass based on the progress. And after that, finally, I set the, uh, I set the, I change, set the animation, uh, sorry, uh, I change the animation, uh, animatable data value, that is animation progress from zero to one. This is the last, last this is the last source code. That's all. It works. It's simple. So, how can we make use of it? So, let me show you one use case. Recently, in Japan, the regional Swift events called Japan Region Swift are held across Japan. I use this animation topic, one of the, one, a few of these events, to do a simple quiz. That is, participants. Participants get a symbol related to that region to help participants know about the region more. And these are some of the quizzes I did in the past events. So let's try the Japan symbol quiz here. A symbol related to Japan will slowly appear on the screen. And if you, if you figure out what it is, please, please try posting on your answer Try, uh, try posting your answer on the X and so on. Are you ready? So let's begin. Maybe it looks different now. So, am I getting this? Maybe. So. Okay, time is over, so let's review the answer. The answer is, the cherry blossoms. The cherry blossom, uh, cherry blossom is deeply connected with Japanese culture and history. And there is the word ohanami, which means the flower viewing. And it's Japanese spring things and very famous to, famous to tourists too. And Showakinen Park near this avenue is a famous ohanami spot in Japan. So, and the, the cherry blossom there is still blooming. So if possible, please visit there during the conference. 
and wrap up. Today, I talked about the, uh, how to animate Swift UI, Swift UI paths. And um, it's simple, but uh, very useful. And uh, we also did the Japan Symbol quiz here to uh, using how to, uh, how to, how to animate Swift UI paths. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, did you have fun? <laughs> And uh, I have a few more quizzes, so if you are interested in, uh, please visit me at the DNA sponsor booth. And one more thing, and the next Japan region dot Swift event is Nagoya dot Swift at the end of this April, and I'll be doing a lightning talk there. So see you again at Nagoya dot Swift, and. Uh, you can download this slide application from TestFlight, so, and you can check the detailed slide content or play the symbol quiz again. That's all, thank you for listening.